Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel Keep Learning. Today we are going to learn the topic use the ping command. So ping command is basically used to check the connectivity. If our computer is connected to server, other computer, switch, router. So we need to check the connectivity with these devices. So we are going to use the ping command for the same. So practical resources that means a practice file is available with the description. You can download the practice file and you can do the practice. What is the objective of this video? So we will use ping command to identify the problem. If there is a no connectivity between the devices, then we can use this command. So this command is used to identify the connectivity issue. And yes, by identifying the issue, we can also solve the issues. So these are the two main objective that how we can use the ping command. So this one is the lab scenario here for computer are connected with the router. So we will check the connectivity between the devices and if there is a problem in any of the device, then we will try to identify the problem. Once we identify the problem using the ping command, then we will try to solve it and we will try to run this scenario successfully. So this is the overall agenda of this lab scenario. Now let us start the experiment. We will use this file which is given in the description. So just double click on that. You need a Cisco packet tracer software to perform this experiment. The other two files are the lab manual. One with the lab manual and the other with the lab manual with answer. So here you can see that this is the instruction guideline. That means PT activity which will guide you how to perform the experiment and this is our lab scenario. So let us split the screen so we can perform the experiment easily. Now here in the lab practical four computer are given one wireless router is given which is connected to the internet. So I will try to check the connectivity between all the devices and if the connectivity is good there is no problem but if there is any connectivity issue then we will try to find out the connectivity problem and then we will try to solve that problem. So we will here perform the experiment in six part. So let us go with the first part that means verify the connectivity. It want to say try to verify the connectivity by just doing the ping to the given website. The website is www.cisco.pka. So I will go to the every computer. I will go to the desktop and command prompt and I will write the command ping www.cisco.pka. So here computer will take some time because it will do the boot process wait for the reply. If the connectivity is proper I will get the reply. So here you can find the reply. This is the IP address given that means basically we are trying to ping this IP and here I got timeout for first one but for the rest of the packet I am getting the reply. So PC1 is connected now PC2 you can find the device name which is written on the left upper side. Now go to the desktop go to the command prompt and again try to ping the given website. So now I am trying to ping the website from the computer too. I am not getting any reply. So here I got the reply that ping request could not find host www.cisco.pk Please check the name and try again. See, I am getting some specific statement. This statement says that there is a problem in the IP address, gateway or in DNS server. As it says check the name that means the problem is with the DNS server. So after checking connectivity with all the devices we will try to find out this DNS error and then we will try to solve this error. So now let us check with the remaining computer. So again I will ping the www.cisco.pka. Now I am getting reply very quickly because booting process has been already done. So I get the full reply from all the packet. The computer 4, I will go to the desktop, I will go to the command prompt and I will write the same website name. So again I am getting reply very quickly now. So from the first part, we can say that out of these four computer, this computer 2 has a connectivity issue, the rest of the computer are connected. Now we will find out what is the problem with PC2. So now just read the instruction for part 2. 
it says ping the web server from pc with the connectivity issue so i will again try to ping let us ping so i will try to ping again let us read the instruction meanwhile what it says read the ping return a reply what is the ip address display in the reply if any so so here i am getting this message it means i am not getting any ip address so here i will write down that no i am not getting any ip address correct now part 3 ping the web server from correctly configured computer just pick any computer for example let us ping from computer 4 and try to find the ip address so here we can find the ip address which is 192.15.210 here during the ping return reply what is the ip address return if any so yes here we get some ip address now part 4 ping the ip address of the web server from the pcs with the connectivity so now i will go to this computer and i will ping the ip address so let us check what is the ip address so ip address is 192.152.10 let us use this ip address and try to ping this ip address with the computer which is having the issue so now here if i try to ping the ip address i am getting the reply but if i try to ping the website then i am not able to get the reply so that means the issue is connected with the dns server so here you are able to find out the particular issue with this process you can find out the issue on the dns server so we have identified the problem and we have also identified the reason of the problem so now what we will do we will compare the dns of successful computer and successful computer now let us do that compare the dns server information from the successful pc so what i will do i will go to the computer and then i will use the command i will use the command ip config slash all so here i get all the detail of ip address dns server gateway or the computer pc4 so let me find out the dns server so here the dns server is 192.152.5 okay now let us find uh, the dns server of the computer which is having some problem so here pc2 is having the problem so i will go to the pc2 i will write down the command ip config ip config all that means it will give the all ip configuration so here i can see that 191152.5 so let us compare the two computer dns detail pc4 where i get the successful ping and pc2 where i get the unsuccessful ping so here dns server yes here it is which is dns server 191.1.2.5 and here it is 192.1.2.5 so here it start with 192 and here it start with 191 so that means in pc2 where i am getting problem i need to check the dns ip address i need to change from 191 to 192 so this is how i can identify the exact problem so now i need to change it what i will do i will go with the part 6 it says make any necessary configuration change in the computer so you need to go to the pc2 in pc2 you close this command prompt go to the ip configuration here in ip configuration you can find the dns server so here dns server is 191152.5 so what i need to do i need to make it 192 okay so dns server which was 191 i will make it 192 that's it just close it now again go to the command prompt here again try to ping the website which is cisco.pka see now i am getting successful reply from the website that means issue is resolved so by doing this activity by following this six step you can solve the issue this is how you can do the practice now here you can check the result and you can reset the activity so if you go in a check result they will say you 
congratulations on completing the activity this is how we can find any problem using the ping command and we can solve the problem using the ping command thank you hope you like my video if you have any question or doubt please write down in the comment section we will meet in next video bye bye thank you